Welcome to the Pocket Desktop Windows tutorial. This tutorial will teach you how to use your Pocket Desktop in a Windows environment. These environments include Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. First, insert your USB drive, your Pocket Desktop, into the USB drive of your Windows-based computer. Then go to the menu bar, click Start. Then click My Computer. Locate the Secure OS partition. In this case, it's Drive G. Double click on the partition. You should see two files when you double click on the partition. The file that you, was, that you want to execute is PD Start. Please click, double click on PD Start. You see the load screen come on, and then you should see two icons appear on your screen. In that window, you'll see an application icon and a boot icon. The application icon, double click, has a number of sub icons to it. It allows you to access files, on your Windows-based system to your drive, allows you to play videos, allows you to restore your system, allows you to send your last boot log, access help files, print documents, or go to setup to change your password. We will not go into any of these particular applications at this time. Just know that they are located here. Now close the window. Go to your boot icon and double click. Ensure that you have shut down all documents prior to clicking on the boot icon as it will shut your system down and load a secure operating system from the Pocket Desktop device. Any documents which have not been saved will be lost. So please, make sure that you've saved all documents and shut down all unnecessary applications. Your system now will restart. This time may vary depending on the type of system you have um, and the operating system. You will see the dual boot screen. It says Windows XP Media and Secure OS. This is normal. It will now start the loading screen. It will then progress to the loading screen with a progress bar that allows you to see the progress the drive is making and loading your secure operating system into your system. This process may take a minute or more. Remember, USB drives load at about approximately 5.5 megabits per second. So to load an entire operating system from the disk may take a minute or more. You will see a uh, pointer appear in the center of your screen. This means your pocket desktop desktop is now loading. When the ball, when the progress ball turns to a pointer, your system is fully loaded on the desktop. It should take only a matter of seconds or so. Okay, your desktop is fully loaded. One of the most important things to check for is network connections. The network connection is established and monitored from these two computers on your taskbar. This taskbar shows two computers placed over each other. Click on the computers. As you can see, this computer is wired. If this computer was wireless, you would see a list of wireless networks available. Please select yours and enter your web code. In this case, we have a wired computer, therefore it is already connected. As you can see under auto uh, ETH0. Okay. Now, second thing is just to check audio. We want to make sure we have audio. Single click on the audio speaker, you'll note that the that the bars are fully all the way to the slide bars are fully all the way to the top. If this was red, as you see here, it would be muted. To unmute it, just click it again and it will then unmute. Now check the mixer. This has not only audio volume but mixer. Double click on the speaker. The mixer panel will appear in the top left hand corner. Please ensure that all slide bars are fully push to the top to give you full volume in each channel. Also make sure, as in the lower portion, that none of these are muted. And if they are, that you unmute them by clicking on them, as you can see as I'm doing here, that all of these are unmuted. You may now close the mixer. One of the, file, one of the uh, applications that I want to cover while on the desktop is uh, Firefox browser. In order to activate the Firefox browser to access the internet, double click on the Firefox browser. As you can see, the browser launches. The browser settings for your home page can be controlled by your setup. You'll go through that when you initially get the drive. In order to access Google, as you can see, all you have to do is double click on the Firefox browser. Now shut it. Last application I want to cover is File Recovery Manager. So you see, File Recovery Manager is to recover files from your host computer. That is the computer that we booted the drive from. 
So let's say for some reason there are files that you wanted to recover from there. The first thing you want to do is identify the disk in which those files are on. That's what we call the source. Source is the host computer's disk. Looking for the name of it, local. Local computer. And as you can see, the local disk does show up on your desktop. Second is the destination. Currently, the default destination is the recovered file. The recovered file is located under My Files in a file called Recovered, and that is where your files will go. If you had an external USB that you had connected, you could select that external USB and it would recover files from there. But in this case, we're going to recover it to the drive. Now, since we don't want to recover the entire disk, it's impractical because of the size of the USB drive and the size of your hard disk, we're going to select the type of files that we want to recover. In this case, I'm only worried about my PDF files, which if you look at portable document format, we'll click on that, which is the long term for PDF. Hit select. Now, in order to recover your files, you only need to hit the button Start Recovery. It will recover every PDF file that is on the disk in the exact same folder format that you have it in on the disk. Obviously, for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to recover this entire disk and all its PDFs. So we're going to hit Cancel at this point. OK. And just to show you where the files are, we're going to go to My Files. We're going to go to Recovered. And we're going to click on the recovered disk. As you can see, we are recovering folders in the exact same format you had before that are PDFs. You can open these PDFs. You can edit these PDFs. They are now saved to the drive. You can now take them to another system, use them, or load them. We are now going to close my files. In order to exit the secure desktop and return to the host computer, go back to the taskbar, hit PD, hit shut down and then select restart or shut down. In this case, we're going to hit restart. You could hit shut down if you no longer want it to go back to the host computer or restart if you want to go back to your original desktop. And this concludes the Pocket Desktop tutorial. Thank you.